diesel fuel price is now at over $4 a gallon and rising. We're all concerned about the cost of fuel. If you happen to own an older Mercedes diesel, there is an alternative. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I've done to beat the system by converting my 300 TD wagon to run on waste cooking oil that I get from restaurants. This is a single tank system, meaning I do not use two tanks. And that's really ideal for a station wagon. So I'm going to begin by walking you through the system components and how they work together. And then we'll come back and I'll show you some of the specifics of each one. When running a diesel engine on straight vegetable oil, viscosity becomes your greatest challenge. Vegetable oil is thick and when it gets cold, it even gets thicker. So you must do things in the car's fuel system to deal with that viscosity problem. I use heat and I use heat on a couple of different locations throughout my system. In the back end, I have the fuel come out of the tank directly into a cast iron sump. And this sump is heated by a diesel glow plug and controlled by a thermostat. So when I turn the key on, the oil will immediately start warming up in the sump even before I start the engine. And then what I feel is a real key to all SVO conversions is an electric fuel boost pump at the back end to help push the fuel up to the engine. And here you can see I put this all together on a mounting plate right underneath and just forward of the factory fuel tank. Getting the heavy oil from the fuel tank up to the engine compartment is just your first challenge. Once it arrives here, you're going to have to make additional modifications to filter the oil to a higher level than what the factory filter can do. You're going to have to raise the temperature of the oil to even a higher temperature. And you're going to have to replumb the fuel hose routing to get the oil to stay hot once it's running through the engine. What I do here is I take basic pieces of aluminum, flat stock, angle stock, and bar stock, and I create a bracket assembly that will allow me to house the number of different components I'm going to need for my system. Here you can see I have mounted a large filter that will help filter this dirty oil that we get from the restaurants. I also have mounted another cast iron boost heater which will bring the temperature of the oil up to about 150 degrees as it enters the fuel injection pump. Then I've also mounted a valve system which will allow me to either loop the fuel in a circular movement through the engine or to return it back to the fuel tank. And finally, I've added switching and fuses to control the electrical components. One other thing you should note here, right here, is I've also installed a glow relay override system in this car. I believe you should do this in every car that's running on SVO. What this does, it allows me to pre-glow the engine and then once the engine starts, I can hold that button down and keep the glow plugs lit for up to a minute to a minute and a half after the engine starts. And this helps us, particularly on a single tank system, to get that veggie hot and running smoothly very quickly to minimize smoke and rough running. For those of you watching who are new to this subject, I'm sure you already have a lot of questions and I'm not going to be able to answer them all in this video. For those of you who've been around SVO for a long time, you know there are lots of opinions out there on how to convert a diesel to run on SVO. And I'm not saying that my way is the only way to do it, and it may not even be the best way. But there are reasons for the way I do it, and they are threefold. Number one, I like to keep things simple. Number two, I like to use off-the-shelf, off inexpensive components, which will allow you to fix the car easily without spending a lot of money if you have problems. And number three, it has to be reliable. Um, uh, some of the early systems I used were so unreliable that it just made me frustrated. And you're sitting here looking at a lot of little gadgets here on my bench. The reason for these have come from a lot of frustration on using things that did not work. So let's move on in close here now and I'll show you each one and explain why I use it in my SVO system. The filter you choose is really important. I remember the first filter I had and you got to remember these filters plug up and they always seem to plug up when you're out on the road and so you have to change them and, and this one filter i won't mention the manufacturer 
but trying to replace the element was a pain. I had vegetable oil all over the engine compartment. And this is why I chose the Standardine filter. Take a look. It's an easy one hand operation. Pull the ring, remove the element, put it back on, and tighten the ring. That is why I use this filter. Now along with the filter, I had to have a way to heat it. And the best way to heat it is from the bottom up. So you're warming the fuel and it will rise up through the filter element and, and actually increase fuel pressure. So I developed a copper coil heater, which is runoff engine coolant, which can be mounted on the bottom of the filter to keep the filter warm. And what's unique about this particular heater is if I'm running straight diesel and do not want the heat, I can pull the copper coil heater off the filter and tie it up out of the way. My next challenge was to develop an effective boost heater that could really get the oil hot before it entered the engine. And I prefer electric heat over coolant heat because it can heat much more quickly and this is really important in a single tank system. Here I've taken and built another chamber out of cast iron which will heat a volume of oil even before I start the engine. Using a glow plug and a thermostat control, I can turn the key on to the accessory position, wait about a minute to a minute and a half, and the oil inside this chamber will rise to more than 140 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing me to start the car and it will run much smoother with less smoke. When using electric boost heat, you must use a filter before the oil enters the injection pump. Uh, this will protect uh, the critical components inside the pump and you cannot use the normal plastic filter that you see on most Mercedes diesels. The oil is getting too hot and you can even melt those plastic filters. So I was able to locate an all metal filter as you see here with a cleanable screen. And this is real handy if you're out on the road and having any problems with contaminants in the final filter. You can actually remove the bowl and clean this filter on the go. And finally I want to talk about my favorite component on SVO systems and that's the electric fuel boost pump. I know a lot of systems don't use this, but I am a firm believer. There are three reasons why I use a fuel pump. Number one, it will increase horsepower to the engine because the pump increases fuel pressure. Number two, this pump will also extend filter life because it keeps a more positive pressure pushing the oil through the filter and you'll get more mileage between filter changes. And finally, the third one is ease of filter change. I'll never forget one of those first systems I had when I changed the filter. It took me over 45 minutes to bleed the air out of the system. I was actually throwing wrenches out in the parking lot. I was so frustrated. When you have an electric fuel pump at the back end, you can change the filter, turn the pump on, and in less than two minutes, the air is bled out of the system. Those are the reasons why I'm a firm believer and electric boost pumps. I had a friend out here yesterday at the shop and I was showing him this system and he said, are you telling me that you get the oil from the restaurants for free? And I said, yeah, it's free. And his eyes got real big and I said, hey, just a minute, Steve. Keep in mind, there's no free lunch. Even though the oil's free, there's still a lot of effort in collecting it, filtering it, disposing of the waste. You've got to do all this conversion work on your car. It is a nice feeling though when you're traveling down the road and you pass that fuel station that shows diesel fuel at 4.29 a gallon. It gives you kind of a nice warm fuzzy feeling inside. Questions? You probably have them, but I can't answer them all here. I want to encourage you to go to my website. I've written a number of manuals, one particularly on SVO theory and operations. I have another manual that I've written that goes over converting to a dual tank system. And I have complete kits that will allow you to build these components yourself. Even if you're only designing your system the way you want to, I still will sell individual components out of our complete kit. So please go to my website and check out this link.